Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I'm going to teach you how I made that aim like watermark in CapCut. It's quite easy to make. You just only have to use a few green screen and then you'll be good to go with it. So this tutorial will be quick and short. So now let's begin. So guys, after exporting your whole edit, what you have to do next is import it back in your timeline. Now add the text above it and now change its font style to the one which you want. The one which I'm using here right now is called Chinese Rocks. So I'll just use that. Now after this, you have to add stroke to it. So click on stroke and make its thickness 20. Now also add glow to it too. Keep its intensity at 30 and range 100. Now you don't have to add shadow right now because we'll add it later on. Next, what you have to do is increase the size of the text just like this. Now add a white screen behind the text and make it green from the curves. Just go to adjustment curves and drag the curve up like this. Now make the green screen fit the ratio. Now select both of these and compound clip them. Now pre-process it. And now while it's being pre-processed, what you have to do is use chroma key. Then select the white color and make intensity 100. Now guys, next what you have to do is add this water overlay behind this green screen. I'll provide it on my Discord server, so make sure to join it from the link in the description. Now you have to reduce the saturation of both of these to minus 50. Now next select both of these, the overlay and the compound clip and reduce its size like this much to make your watermark a bit small. Now what you have to do is add another green screen behind this, like I mean behind the overlays like this. And now adjust the overlays like they should not go outside the green screen. Now next we're gonna add those lines on the watermark that glowy lines. So guys, for that, what you have to do is add another white screen and then put it below the green screen. Now reduce its size, like it should not go out of the green screen. And now what you have to do is mask it, click on film strip, then just do exactly what I'm doing here, rotate it just like this and make it slim. Now feather it a little bit. And now we'll start adding the keyframes to it. So add these masking keyframe at the starting and then move it all the way to the left, just like this. Now go at the ending and move it all the way to the right. Now just copy paste it and put it a little bit forward and change the rotation. Now just do the same at the starting, just keep it at the left side and at the end, keep it at the right side. Now just copy both of these and just move a little bit forward and keep pasting them till the end of the edit. Now copy paste this compound clip and then what you have to do is double click on it. Now delete the green screen. Now click on the text. Just remove the glue and add the shadow. Now just go back. Now what you have to do is put it below all of these. Next select all of these and then compound clip it. Except the last one. Now click on this compound clip then go to remove BG and then remove the green screen and make intensity 70. And guys there you have it. You have made this watermark. Now you can also add glow to it. So search an effect called glow to and put it above the first compound clip and there you have it you can see like there is a bit glow on it now and you guys can also change its color from the curves just go there and then move the graphs up and down and just do what you want so guys that's it for today's tutorial see you guys in another video till then bye bye